Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. <laughs> I told y'all I was gonna break it up into um, I, it's four parts. This this is the third part right here. In this video, um, I'm recapping the shy <laughs> season three, episode six. Woo woo woo. Okay. That is a good title for this episode because there's a lot going on. But in this video, I am going over uh, what happened on in this episode regarding Reg and um, and uh, Jake's relationship. Um, in this episode, his re Jake's relationship with Reg and Duda must take a pivotal turn because Reg has now been told we gonna get into it, y'all. I already I'm just coming back now to film the intro but I already um, filmed the uh, what I wanted to say so I'm not gonna get back into it y'all I'm a talker if you have not found out if you haven't realized yet if you don't know now you know your girl can talk but anyways um once y'all get done watching if you have not like comment and subscribed make sure you do that um, join the family okay I'm Valerie hey friend let's be friends okay <laughs> let's get into it okay y'all so let's talk about jake and trig so trig brings up some money that reg has supposedly left behind and uh jake has no knowledge of this money okay so jake he's like i don't know what you're talking about J trig ends up taking drake to jake to some other house that um reg what frequent he was like this is his other home he knew about it and they wound up finding the money when they found the money okay when they found the money there was one of duda's personnel or bodyguards or one of his street hounds was watching um reg this whole was watching trig the whole time so trig knew he was being followed so since he was being followed he had jake hang with him for the entire day in order to basically protect himself because he knew that Duda, well, he feels Duda wouldn't make a move on him if he had um, Jake with him all day. So Trig almost kills one of Duda's people. After this happens, she trying to get out. Hold on. Okay, so uh, where did I leave off? So Trig... Uh, almost kills one of Duda's people, one of his watchdogs, um, after finding the hidden money. After he finds the hidden money and he almost, he, he, I don't know if he kills him or he just knocked him out pretty good, but he did bang up the guy pretty good. Um, uh, Jake says, man, that's one of Duda's hound dogs. What are you doing? That's one of Duda's people. Why did you, um, hold on, y'all, because she ain't here doing the most today why did you uh do that and he was like listen i'm about to well trick basically tells uh kevin i mean um he basically tells uh jake how he how he really feels about Duda. he tells because this is really not the truth not the truth per se but he tells jake that Duda is the one that killed rich and 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 jake is like no he didn't he didn't kill, Jake says, no, he didn't. He didn't kill um, Reg. I don't believe that. And Trig basically says, well, you need to make a decision. So what do y'all think that, what he said, you need to make a decision. Either you're going to come stay with me or you're going to stay with Duda. Because I'm not about to go through all this trouble if you really don't want to stay with me, if you really don't want to believe me, what I'm saying. And what? where do y'all think that that money came from? The money that, do y'all think that's the money that Reg had took from the Wild Boys? Is that the money Reg took from the Wild Boys? Because I know it's not the money from Duda. I think that's leftover money. Or is that money that was saved? Because why was Duda following Trig? Was Duda following Trig maybe because he knew that Reg had some money hid up and saving? Maybe, you know, Duda knew that Reg had some money left over. Or, you know, from the Wild Boys. Because... I don't know or we you don't I, I'm not sure y'all let me know where did that money come from is it just savings because um, I remember Jake telling 
trig that his brother was broke. He was like, he ain't never had no money. So was he not broke? Was he doing what all, all, all rich people do? Act like they broke all the time? <laughs> That's how you keep your ends. You gotta act like you ain't got them. But, um, yeah. So now Jake is put in a predicament where he has to decide, is he going with trick or is he going to stay with duda he needs to go find out the truth from duda did you kill my brother reg because trick said you killed my brother reg dude i might have to come and come clean and tell the truth like hey i might i ain't kill him but i do know i did know he was about to get killed and that's why i went ahead and saved you so this is the turning point for this is going to be the make or break point for the relationship between duda um trick and jake we about to figure out what the final decision is gonna be on that then also trig says you uh you must like they start talking about excuse me man they start talking about Gemma, and he said well you must like Gemma or something and um one i seen that in a few comments and i think even there's another person another guy that does these show recaps he's really good at it he does a lot of other shows i just do this show because i like it um, I probably will do more recaps on shows that I like. I'm really interested in recapping power. But um, Futuristic Mike, if y'all watch his vlogs, Futuristic Mike, um, and look at his comments and everything, somebody said that they think that... Um, <laughs> this girl. They said they think that Jake might have a crush on Gemma. And I said, oh, I don't think so. But... You know, they might have been right from this episode. Y'all seen what was going on in this episode, so they may be right. He might actually have a crush on Gemma. So, yeah, y'all, make sure y'all check out Futuristic Mike. Uh, he does recaps and everything. But um, let's, let's keep it moving. Let's get into Gemma and Kevin. What's going on with Gemma and Kevin? Kev gives her a nickname, so now it's a few kisses, so now they going steady. Looks like the relationship is starting to develop. You know, Kevin really likes her, and Gemma is, seems to be reciprocating those feelings. You know, they getting close. Gemma didn't buy him a little present or whatever. And um, in this episode, Gemma go ahead and reveals that she actually told her mom about Keisha and her mom actually told somebody else's mom and now that it's a rumor going around the school whereas no one really knew about it on the north side until um Kev pretty much told Gemma so Gemma told a story she told a lie and said that she didn't have anything to do with that that she didn't say anything but then she went ahead and came clean and this is the part that I felt I felt something for Gemma because y'all know I'm, I'm not a particularly a fan of Gemma. I don't know why I just, I you know, I told y'all why before. I do know why. I told y'all why before. But in this episode, I had some, I was on her side. I felt for her because she did tell a, she did tell a lie. But then she came back and she told the truth right away. She said, you know what? It was me. I'm sorry. And she explained herself. She gave a sincere apology and explained exactly why she did it why she told um how the rumor got out she said she was looking for some understanding from her mom and she was looking for a way to console kevin and get kevin to open up to her and she didn't know how to do that so she went and got some advice from her mom and in turn her mom went ahead and spilled the tea and now the tea is everywhere but um if you want to call it tea but um yeah i i felt for her because kevin was really really upset with her and i was like bro you know she she didn't mean it like that and he just kind of left her hanging in the wind so we don't know if that's gonna leave opportunity for jake to step on it i don't believe that Gemma is that type of girl but you know these are kids kids do weird stuff so i i don't know we don't know that that's still left up for everybody to see but um y'all at kev's party his birthday his surprise birthday party everyone was there it was really nice to see that I was like really um I love the gifts that Kevin was giving y'all did y'all notice that he was giving gifts that um 
touched on the personality of the person who gave him, but was still something that was suitable to give to him. It was so cute. Like, Papa gave him the Bible, you know. Um, Y'all, Papa gave him the Bible. Then, um, what else happened? His... Dre gave him the watch. If y'all still on the edge on whether Dre is a good or a bad person, I'm going to go with she She legit. She all right. You know, and then his mom gave him some cologne. So that that was cute. And then at the end of the episode, y'all, the end of the episode, it, it leaves us with Kevin making a wish on his cake. So Kevin makes a wish, and I'm pretty sure that that wish was to bring back Keisha. It was a good setup for the next episode that we're going to see um, Keisha may be found in episode 7. If y'all think Keisha is going to be found in episode 7, sound off in the comments. Let me know. No. Find something else to do. If y'all think she's going to be found, let me know. But I believe that she's going to be found in the next episode. So, y'all, it's so much going on with this episode. It was so much going on, y'all. Let's get into, um, I'm going to have to make a part two, y'all. It's so much going on. It, it's so much, y'all. So, okay. Okay, y'all. So, <laughs> and that is the end of my commentary for um, Reg and um, Jake's whole situation for this episode. Uh, I just wanted to keep it short. There's so much that I could say. Maybe I'll go live this week and we can have a little discussion and talk about it. We can chat it up. Y'all let me know if you like to go live and if um, y'all want to talk to me throughout the um, during the week. Sometime this week, I'll go live and we can have a discussion maybe before the next episode see what's going on uh, give our predictions and things like that but yeah y'all if you haven't done so yet subscribe comment support your girl support the channel support the hustle okay all right y'all it's been real thank you so much for watching y'all be easy peace